Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad, and in this video I walk you through installing a Compo Pack 48 map and the required files on a dedicated server. Also, I'll go through what files the clients need and where they go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh no. This should be a pretty quick video as I'm going to assume you already know how to make a map in 7 Days to Die and also how to set up a basic 7 Days to Die server on something like Ping Perfect, which I'll be using here in this tutorial. I'm sure there are other videos available on setting up your first server. My first server. Firstly, we need to generate the map you wish to use and for the most control over your map when using 7 Days to Die Random World Gen, you should use Infinity to install your POIs. Watch the previous video for a hand-holding version of installing and using that. Once you have ran Infinity and made any changes you needed, save your preset as you may want to use it later. Then install the files. Now we can head back into 7 Days to Die and generate your map, making a note of what the world is called. Next, you'll need the address and the port of your server and ideally some FTP software like FileZilla, which is free and very good. The link is in the description. Once you're in FileZilla, enter your server's IP address in host, your username, password and the port and connect. Once connected, you'll see on the right side of the screen the folders on the server and on the left you'll see your PC. I won't be using the left panel because we need to access the app data folder and that doesn't show in FileZilla by default. Now in FileZilla, open your IP address on the right hand side and in the list look for data, open that and inside of there you'll see worlds and inside of there is where your newly created world will go. So I'm going to use the app data shortcut that I created in a previous video. If you don't have that, you can just type percent app data percent into the search bar at the bottom and then make your way to generated worlds in seven days to die. There's our generated worlds. I'll open that up. And the map I'm using on the server is this one, old Yohi Beva Valley. So I'll grab a hold of that and drag that into worlds. Staying in the data folder on the server, we need to open the prefabs folder. And in here is where we're going to place the prefabs from our prefab folder on the computer. So let me go back to that. And that will be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Seven Days to Die. And inside of there, we'll find data. Inside of there is prefabs. And these are the prefabs that are installed on the map that I've just created. So if I highlight all of those, I can drag them into the prefabs folder on the server. See, I've already got them there. So from here, we can go back into our server settings, change the game settings as we desire and fire up the server. You yourself will now be able to join the server and play on your new map with all the new POIs, but other players joining your server need specific files on their PC. When a client joins a new server, the map is automatically downloaded to their machine, but the CP48 POIs aren't. So where do we get them and where do we put them? There are three options here, and this is why I felt this tutorial may be useful to some of you. The first option is for you to zip up the contents of your prefabs folder and send your clients a copy of that zip file. They would then unzip those folders into their prefabs folder and then they can join the server and play the game. Now this has the advantage of only containing the POIs that you chose using Infinity so the file size is reduced but the disadvantage is that the client may want to play on another server which has a different selection of POIs. So the second option is for the client to use Infinity same way that you did and they can simply answer yes to every question then install. If you would rather not ask your clients to install Infinity because it can be a little bit complicated, there is a third option and that is to download only the POIs that will go into the prefabs folder and you will find those from the Discord page in the CP48 modeler download. At the end of the list here at the moment, CP48.1 complete prefabs part two. That's the file. Now click on this link if you're going to download it.
Once you've done that, extract all of those folders and drop the folders into the prefabs folder on the client's machine. Please give the video a like if you found it useful and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below but I would recommend that you join the Magolus Combo Pack Discord where you will most likely get better help. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon with some more. Bye bye.